Hello, my name is Don, and welcome to a brand new series on my channel using the Academia School Simulator game. I hope I've pronounced that correctly. Uh, we're going to go with an orange and blue uh, badge. I've played this a couple of times, an attempt. It's crashed a couple of times. It is still in development, but it's a really good game. We're going to go with a griffin in the top left, if I can find it. There we go, griffin. Go with the atom here. If I can find it again, it's an alphabetical, so I really should work that out. Go with the music note here and the basketball in the bottom right, and bottom left even. Giving a nice school sort of feel to it. We'll go with Blackburn, just a little shout out to our uh, Football Manager series on the channel, and we will go with Learn Success as a motto. I've not put a huge amount of thought into this. Uh, mostly because I'm trying to keep it as close to what I initially tried as possible, but it keeps freezing on me. Uh, the reason why it keeps freezing to me is because I keep trying to build walls on the edges of the map, and I think that's what's triggering it, uh, the freeze. So what we're going to do is we're going to start in the centre this time. So we're going to go with zones. Uh, if you look at our to-do list, we've got to build a freshman classroom, assign a teacher to that classroom, build a kitchen, build a cafeteria, and hire a cook. So let's try again to get this working. So... This is again, it's the first attempt you guys will see, but it's the fourth or fifth that I've tried. Again, we'll do walls right round us. And we will add a door to these walls. And then objects, no build even. So we want a door here. We want, let's go with the blue walls all the way around. Typical school sort of feel to it. And then we need a chalkboard, 10 student chairs, an office table and a chair. So let's try and keep this looking relatively schooly. So classroom, 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 where's classroom option? There we go. So chalkboard, put here, put the office table here. Typically where a teacher sits right in the middle of the classroom with the chair next to the chalkboard and then 10 student chairs as close to that as possible so no freezes yet which is good so we've got to build a freshman classroom we've got to build assign a teacher to it so staff teacher let's build it first actually before we do that uh, zones we need to build a kitchen which we'll do further away so kitchen uh, this needs to be 4x4 four four, and I believe it has to be indoors as well so we have to make sure we get the wall right here we're going to build this right in the corner not too close to the corner because we don't want to build against this so 4x4 four four. lay out wall outline we'll go here I assume the walls build roofs automatically I'm not sure on that and again a door I assume this we should use a staff door for this one yeah, build a staff door. Yep. So, again, let's go for orange walls this time because let's highlight the difference between class and food. Uh, what do we need in the kitchen? We need refrigerator, a stove, and a kitchen sink, and it has to be indoors. So, uh, we've done that. So kitchen 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 we need a stove put that down here refrigerator we'll put up here and a kitchen sink we will put here and then we need a cafeteria that will come off this so zoned cafeteria needs to be five by five <coughs> so let's go with yeah, because we'll build a wall there, so. I feel like we should go for something like, let's edit that zone and remove it. And let's try again. So we'll go with So 
something like that. I kind of want to make this look normal. Uh, edit zone, remove zone. Cafeteria, we will go for Nope. I'm being really picky here, guys. I do apologize. So, cafeteria. Yeah, that's 5x4, you see. And we need it to be 5x5. Five five. So, remove zone. Let's go with cafeteria. We'll go with that size zone. We will go with object uh, layout, outline wall. See if it lets us have that. And we will put in a door here. Which will be a normal door this time. And again we'll go with the orange walls. Let's highlight the difference between a kid's a food area and a non food area. So we need a canteen table, a food counter plate counter and indoors so object cafeteria we need a food counter I wish there was a way to rotate this is there uh, let's have a look so rotate object middle mouse button or the R button okay there we go that works with me That looks like that would be the right way around that I would want it. Plate counter here. Go with here. Uh, what else does it need? It needs a canteen table. Let's play it, see how it goes. Feel like that canteen is not big enough, which we shall see. It says delivery here. I'm not sure on this. They're going to work on the freshman classroom first. We'll see this getting built. Again, nice blue walls. I believe this is made by the same people as Prison Architect, so that's a game I played on the Xbox and was very, very bad at, if I'm honest. So I'm hoping that means we can be okay at this one at least. Uh, but again, not holding my breath. I assume we've got some supplies in just now. No, let's not do that. So let's hire staff. Let's hire a teacher, let's go for someone that's decent, this is the best we've got, 6,500 a day, hire, there we go, that's the business, um, I mind from was it Prison Architect, certainly on the Xbox there was an option for the stove should be here so why have they not built the stove that's interesting uh, but I remember from the Xbox version there was the option to have blueprints it doesn't seem to be an option here Why is this saying this isn't indoors? It's got the exact same requirements as this. Hmm. And we've not got the stove as well, which is interesting. So there's definitely a stove there. Dismantle the stove. Let's pause. Objects. Okay, all dismantle. 
everything that's in here actually let's go with everything that's there uh, layout arrays everything that's there and play and we will object kitchen stove yeah it needs to, it was facing the wrong way that stove so that's why that didn't work now that I know how to rotate we can make it work so layout can we raise build demolish there we go so we'll demolish this so there we go so our, ca our kitchen is now working we're now demolishing this because we messed up Uh, we need the walls to be bigger so let's go back to layout wall outline we will go round this like so and we will put a door outline in here we will build uh, orange walls round like so and that should now make it indoors we'll use a normal door here and objects cafeteria so plate counter we want to be rr go with there uh, food counter we want to be r i'm curious as to which way this wants actually to be it has a dot at the bottom so i assume that's where it wants the kids to be so let's go with there and we need a canteen table which we will do Here. Can we do another one there? Nope. Okay, there we go. Now that should do that. And then we can hire three cooks. Cook. One, two, three. Um, and they cost 50 a day and 600 to hire. Okay, so. To do grants. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> now I got that. Let's start the school year. Minus seventy cash flow. So transfer. Nope. To do nothing got nothing really here to do but we've got the basics in at least okay so let's go with that transfers okay let's go with that we can now bring in 10 freshmen because we've got a freshman classroom and we've got our canteen all now working so that's what I did wrong there so I think we've now got the basics of this sus sussed and here comes our students so we've got to do nope really should tell you that though our students are going straight for lunch they don't want anything other than food which is interesting and they're dropping litter so let's hire a janitor put them in here first And we've now got food incoming, so we can now cook for these children who are messy so-and-sos. Mmm, very messy so-and-sos. And now they can go to class. 
So let's see if we go to class. I hope that's my teacher coming in. So now I get that coming in. So we've got staff wages of all this. So we're losing about 240 a day. Okay, that's interesting. So I think that means we need to do a bit better. So to do Toilet training, we might as well do some of these, so. Let's go with this one, so let's add to do. So we need to build a janitor's room. So we built off this somewhere. So zones, so janitor's room. Minimum is four by four, so let's go with that. Again, um, objects, layout event, let's go with the wall outlines first, we'll just expand these walls, make them doubled, I know it's not ideal, but it should work, we'll do a door outline like so here, we'll build a um, staff door because janitors won't want students coming in their doors, if we've got any other blues that are not, we'll do a tile wall for staff. and layout, no objects even, so janitor's room, it needs a kitchen sink, a table, four chairs, and indoors. Okay, so kitchen sink, R R, please, there we go, chair, one, Let's get the table first. No, wait, delete that. Um, two, three, R, R, R. Four should work. I think. Table doesn't work. Okay. So, objects all dismantle that lot. Please. Um, see if we can get this working. Let's just delete everything in the room. Nope, because we want to keep these. So, why is it not letting me demolish this table? So, janitor's room, table. Put one there. Not letting me demolish this. I don't know why. Uh, right, let's go with trash can. So, I assume this is all in alphabetical again, so we can go all the way down to D. And put one, two, three, four, five, and Let's just put one randomly outside just now. It can always be deleted and replaced at another time. And then we need, for the janitor room, we need f those three chairs back in. So, R, 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 R. And... So I'm going to see where we put it. If it wasn't for this table, it'd be very, very easy to remove. Um, all dismantle. Can we delete this yet? Nope. Nope. <clears throat> Don't know why it's not letting us place this. 
This is very, very frustrating. Because mm. now we're struggling to find a place for this chair. We'll go with there. Let's see if that works. If we can get our janitor's room sorted. Yep, it's gave us it. It works. It looks horrible, but it works. Uh, so staff, let's hire another three janitors. So one, two, three. Uh, we're now running at a huge loss, though. So what do we need here? This is more expenditure. We need club. Uh, reach 50 students. Um, okay, I'm trying to work out here. So, we need to build another classroom. That's simple. Um, so, again, we'll go down here and we will go to layout, zones event, class, and we'll do the five by five. We will lay out wall outline round here, here, and here. Objects, not lay out even door there, build door there. Blue wall for our classrooms. Because we need more students if we're going to start making a profit here and that is tends to be the name of these kind of games so objects classroom please chalkboard one there office table here chair here student chair get them facing forward this time You can see which way forward is so I'm assuming it's that way so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all and a trash can in the corner which means we can then all dismantle that one and hopefully then that will let us why is it saying that we've not got 10 chairs, layout, objects, classroom, student chair, one, two, there we go, it blocked us putting that one in because a guy walked over it at the same time as we're putting it in. So once this is done, we can hire another teacher and then we can hire 10 more students I think. There our way back into the cafeteria, but it's getting a bit cleaner now that we've got all these janitors running around. So, staff, teacher, let's hire another decent one. Let's go with this guy, hire. There we go, and transferee, we should be able to hire another 10 of these, which should bring us to about profit. They're all the way home now, so we can probably skip to the next day. We'll see. We'll come, let them come back, and we'll see then if they can, if we go into profit or whatever. So, yeah, should be okay. As that lad goes there. Here we go, next day. So, here comes our staff. Minus 800 on the cash flow though, so. Yeah, this will now be in profit now that once we get these extra students coming in. That's gonna take another two days. Which is a bit worrying. But on the positive, we've got a nice tidy school. Um, so I guess what we're gonna do is
get any profit and then we will look for something else so this might be one that we look for fairly quickly I think we should have had a bigger cafe cafeteria if I'm honest what I'm thinking is maybe bring it down here at some point redo all this and have our cafeteria it's a big sort of area here with a lot of space we've got a delivery incoming that's interesting we've got our students and I'm going to end this episode here guys thank you very much for watching I know I suck at this kind of game but I hope you enjoyed if you did a like and subscribe is always appreciated I'll hopefully catch you all next time and I hope to do plenty more of this game on this channel